Are you looking for fun winter activities to do in Switzerland other than skiing or snowboarding? Then I've got you covered. From ice skating on frozen lakes to sledding to riding the Glacier Express, there are so many cool things to do. In this video, I'm going to be showing you seven amazing things that you can do in Switzerland in the winter. Number one, ice skating. Switzerland has a number of really cool ice skating places that are open in the winter, including frozen lakes. Although obviously that's not actually open because it's just a natural phenomenon. Um, I visited three different ice skating pieces near Samaritz. The first one was Iceberg Engadine, which is an ice path that you can follow through the trees. Absolutely beautiful. It's a bit difficult to get here as you'll need to get a bus from the train station, but it's only 12 Swiss francs entrance fee and five Swiss francs if you want to rent some ice skates. That was actually the only place where you didn't need to bring your own skates. The other one I went to was Iceberg Magdalene, which is also incredibly beautiful. It's an ice path that runs next to the river. Um, you do need to bring your own skates if you wish to skate here, and you'll also need to bring five Swiss francs in cash to leave in the honesty box. And finally, my absolute favorite place was Silzuzi, which is the frozen lake, and we were really lucky that we had the black ice and we were just surrounded by mountains. It was so beautiful. As this is a lake, obviously there isn't an entrance fee and you do need to bring your own ice skates. The majority of these are open from about the end of December to mid end of March, but obviously it's going to depend on the weather. Number two, go sledding. This was actually my favorite day. We hired sleds for 17 Swiss francs um, and we went from Prada to Bergen, and then also another run, which was Dalax also to Bergen. And we went on each piece two times, and it was so fun. I felt like a kid again. Uh, the day pass was 19 Swiss francs, or you can go on just one run for seven Swiss francs. I have a full video available on the experience if you wanna see more. Number three, if you're looking for a more relaxing way to enjoy the Swiss Alps, then you should ride on a train. Switzerland offers an array of incredible train rides from the Glacier Express which goes between Samaritz and Zerma and you go over the Oberalp Pass to the Benina Express which runs from Samaritz down into Italy. Again super beautiful they have panoramic carriages so you can really take in all of the view. They also have a vintage train from the 1930s which runs between Montreux and Zweisimmen. You have these beautiful turquoise chairs whilst you're looking out at the Swiss Alps and I also really enjoyed the Gornagrat cog train which goes from Zermatt up to Gornagrat. This journey is 88 Swiss francs which isn't cheap considering it's only like an hour long journey but the views you have of the Matterhorn are just incredible. If you're planning on riding a few trains in Switzerland, then I recommend checking out the Interrail Pass. This is what I personally used on my last trip to Switzerland. I only traveled by train and I saved, I don't know, <laughs> a few hundred euros thanks to my pass um, because the Bernina Express was free. The Glacier Express, I saved 270 euros. Also all of the smaller interconnecting trains I got were free, the train to and from Germany. The only thing that wasn't included was the cog train and any of the cable cars that I took. Number four is stay in an igloo. Yes, this is possible. Actually, if you catch the cog train up to Gornagrat, then you can stop at the igloo dorf. Even if you're not staying here, you can still have a drink in the bar and check out the igloos. You can go inside, the ice cavings are insane. And I think this is a major bucket list experience to sleep in an igloo. You're probably gonna be cold, but <laughs> you have an amazing view of the Matterhorn and you can pretend to be an Eskimo. <laughs> Number five, I'm actually gonna cover <laughs> two different things. Um, firstly, it's just kind of being outside, hiking, enjoying the snow air and the mountain air. I went up Glacier 3000, which has the only suspension bridge which joins 
two mountain peaks together. You have incredible views from there. You can also walk on a glacier and it was the most affordable place that I found that offered husky sleigh rides. Starting from 40 Swiss francs to 10 minute loop that you can go on. I also looked at doing this in Zermatt but for an hour it was around 250 Swiss francs so if you're looking at just a small taster make sure to head to Glacier 3000 on a Wednesday or a Saturday. Sadly I went on a Sunday so I was not able to do this which means I need to go back to Switzerland next winter. <laughs> Number six is to enjoy a fondue. I personally did this up Glacier 3000 so that I had an incredible fondue with a view. I planned on going to a restaurant in Zermatt which had a view of the Matterhorn but on my last day it was completely fogged over. You couldn't see the mountain. Didn't really want to spend 30 Swiss francs on fondue when I couldn't see the mountain. So instead I went up Glacier 3000 and I enjoyed my 28 Swiss franc fondue with a view. And finally number seven, go to a spa. I think this is the perfect winter activity and a really nice way to relax and chill after a day of ice skating, sledding or whatever you've been up to. There are a number of different ones around Switzerland. A lot of these are within a hotel or associated with a hotel. The hotel that I stayed at in St. Moritz had free access to this spa which had a beautiful outdoor heated pool with view of the mountains. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more travel tips.